Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Word from Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church. My name is Jay Clark. I'm one of the pastors on staff. Uh, this week, um, well, actually this whole month, we're going to, during my meditation time, my daily, daily word time, I'm going to be looking at the Psalms. Um, sometimes I think it's really great uh, to read over those ancient words um, and it, because a lot of it was as a song, uh, you know, some of it is, is joyful, some of it is, is really desperate and crying out to God. So one of the things I want to encourage you to do is, as we look at some different psalms this month is uh, I, want you to, I want to encourage you to write your own. You write your own psalm. Um, what you're feeling. Write just a few words about what you're feeling toward God. Uh, and, you know, I always tell everyone that when we talk about the psalms that if you write your own psalm, then if you're happy, you can write about that. If you're really angry at God, we worship a God that's big enough to handle that. Uh, so um, just, but encourage you to write what you're feeling. We're going to look at Psalm 22, uh, and some of these uh, words will be familiar. And I want you to, to just meditate on it as we go through it. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me, from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our ancestors trusted, they trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not human, scorned by others and despised by the people. All who see me mock at me. They make mouths at me. They shake their heads. Commit your cause to the Lord. Let them deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Yet it was you who took me from the womb. You kept me safe on my mother's breast. On you I was cast from my birth, and since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no help. There is no one to help. Many bulls encircle me, but strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like a ravening or roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It's melted within my breast. My mouth is dried up like a pot's herd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death. Now I just want to read you just a little bit from a different translation. This one's from the Message Translation. The last one is from New Revised Standard Version. This one starts out with, God, God, my God, why did you dump me miles from nowhere? Doubled up with pain, I called to God all the day long, no answer, nothing. I keep it all at night, tossing and turning. And you, are you indifferent above it all, leaning back on the cushions of Israel's praise? We know you were there for our parents. They cried for your help and you gave it. They trusted and lived a good life. So let's meditate on these words from Psalm 22 as you go on throughout your week. But again, this one is a, is a psalm of desperation. I encourage you to write what you're feeling toward God and write it down, even if it's just a few words. And think about that as you go throughout your week and see how your relationship with God deepens. Have a great day.